Sharaf. Sharaf in Sali or? I have so much respect and I'm very proud what you do because this stand is not even as hot as you face outside and you folks are outside every day in the last weeks you have humidity you have heat and you guys do a fantastic job so thank you a lot While we've had successful turnarounds in the past, this is by far the biggest in Equate's history. And that is why we began the planning more than two years ago. So very soon the zero hour is coming, so uh, the team is prepared. Even the engineers are supporting our operations team to make sure that we shut down safely. Five units, including the cracker, the ethylene glycol, the styrene unit, parts of utilities and the aromatics plant will be shut down gradually. Once they are offline, we'll be performing major overhauls, inspections, repairs and change process catalyst in some of those units. And then, by executing this turnaround, you make the plant ready for reliable operation for the next uh, eight years. Mobilizing 14,000 workers, getting them trained, getting them certified was a major challenge. If you see a bulb and there is a red tag, who is allowed to remove or to operate the bulb? Along with the manpower, we had another challenge, which is the availability of material. More than three years of planning went into identifying 20,000 line items. This represented more than 400,000 pieces of material prepared, source being ready for the turnaround. Around the clock, we've been working with both the maintenance department and the turnaround group to identify all the materials and services they need and to make sure they receive everything on time. Any slippage, any delay in delivery would cost Equate a lot, which is why Everyone is being proactive in taking all the necessary precautions. We've created more than 150 different surface contracts, and that's not including all the amendments. For example, we have contracts for heavy equipment, like crane and forklifts, scaffolding, inspection, insulation, catalyst, catering services and transportation services. Contract with the local workshop, valve shop, fabrication shop, contract with the external vendor for specialized services, Lump sum contract, manpower supply contracts. The majority of manpower is coming from India, but we are also bringing specialists from Saudi Arabia, United States, Netherlands, Germany, and many other countries. It's going to be a challenge to train and certify around 14,000 employees coming for this turnaround. That is why we have training sessions in India where we expect about 5,000 employees to be trained and certified before they travel. For the others, we have very detailed training sessions to be held here on site. We arrange with the Ministry of Interior to complete all the fingerprints at the airport at the time arrival of the main war. Also, we arrange with the Ministry of Health to complete the medical test inside Shaiba, inside Equity Property. We set up two uh, medical centers in the plant, uh, fully equipped, uh, ready to service all the contractors and employees during the uh, turnaround period. Uh, all the treatments required, all the emergency devices are available, and we are sure everything is going to be all right. We have also arranged meetings with the Kuwait Authority related to security and gate passes. This is to ensure the manpower that we are going to receive at our gate are ready with their security passes so that they can enter in a safe manner to our site. We'll wait for the pump to trip. Masoud is prepared. Right. 
Safety is our biggest priority. We have the system in place, the policy and the turnaround manual to ensure that we complete the shutdown while meeting EHNS targets. Lexi, tell the people not to touch the flange. Davis, make sure all other people out when we take it out. There is no way a shutdown of this size can be done successfully without effective teamwork, coordination and seamless communication. There are just so many things that could go wrong. I think our biggest uh, challenge will be aromatics since it's never uh, been shut down before. So our challenge right now is to hand over all the equipment as soon as possible for repair. But before doing so, we need to make sure it is completely isolated from all energy sources, well ventilated, and completely cleaned from all chemical residue. We have different projects ranging from replacement of pipe, installing a new equipment, revamping of ground flare, along with that, instrumentation and automation projects. Everybody, we're holding the uh, oxygen mixer. Now we're going to start dropping the oxygen mixer. We're holding the mixer by a few bolts just to get it ready, okay? And we're not going to loosen up the bolts until we get the crane set in position. And then we're going to start lifting. Loaded. It is loaded. So you can take all the bolts out safely. Yep. Just be careful not to allow anyone to cross. Yes. So are you well tilted now? This one? So is this one ready for tilt or not yet? This one ready for tilt? No, no, no. We have to ending We just discovered extensive damage in the sample and recovery column. And we're going to have to do major rebuild. One of our equipment in starting plant is badly choked. We are currently working different creative ideas to clear it. Unfortunately, it's going to take time. We have a leak in one of the seawater lines that feeds the compressor, and we don't believe replacing the line is an option. Yeah, I'm not blurring. Yeah. But it, it looks very well, eh? it looks very good. Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good condition eh? and a good progress. Yeah, absolutely. And one here, one reverse, one left, one right. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Ibrahim. Thank you. Now we have to stop. Fairness of Call back. Yes, go ahead. I need to sign permit for fairness too, please. Okay. Yeah, how many uh, operation support you have? I have two, two. And Vasan? Good, so five, is it ready? Alternate bolting, uh, insulation, scaffolding? When it comes to big objects falling, is never a priority. Our priority is safety, and they promise to do so. It's an emergency. Now all the job is stopped. The crane is not working. Who is the most important person who takes care about your safety? Hey, can you send the additional uh, scaffolders here? So it's you. It's me. It's everybody. The heart of the turnaround are people. People have to execute the turnaround. You have a lot of schedules, you have a lot of paperwork, you have a lot of materials, but at the end of the day, the contractors, the contract companies, the equators have to execute the turnaround and they make it a failure or they make it a, a big success. We had some complicated projects to execute during the turnaround. In all plants, in the ethylene plant, glycol, the aromatics plants. Building a plant from scratch is different than modifying an existing facility. 
There were many challenges in different facilities during the turnaround addressed by great people in Equit. This is where our resilience and never say die spirit came to the fore. With the able support of all functions, proper planning, scheduling, and the tireless work of everyone. We managed to complete all the projects for all the units perfectly. Zero recordable injuries. That's what makes me the happiest. I would consider this turnaround as one of the best successes in the history of Equid. And all of this is the result of people's effort throughout the three-year roadmap. A real testimony to the teamwork between different functions in the organization. We couldn't be more proud of our people who executed something that is so phenomenal in the history of Equid. So hopefully for another eight years, we'll continue to operate safely and take the learnings from this uh, wonderful turnaround and implement it across the globe. Thank you.